Golf is a favorite hobby of many longtime Floridians. Bob White is no exception. And with dozens of beautiful golf courses in Florida to choose from, golfers just like Bob wait excitedly for one thing, tea time. I grew up in the St. Petersburg area and live now close to Bayou Club out here in Seminole and uh, played golf for long time in my life. However, when neck and upper body pain began affecting his golf swing, he found it more difficult to play the sport he loved most. It was really degenerative. I knew about 30 years ago. It got a little progressively worse. It was uh, sharp and throbbing, and then it became um, just more of a consistent pain. It started at the neck and it went down the shoulder and tricep and down into my forearm. I noticed it in playing golf and so progressively I was having more pain playing golf. That really was the sport that uh, caused the greatest problems. Bob was disturbed by his pain in his day-to-day -day life as well. Simple tasks became a struggle. Sometimes it would impact at work. It definitely impacted sitting. That was extremely difficult at time periods and uh, basic functions during the day. In the beginning, he tried conventional pain relief methods, but nothing brought him long-term resolution. I talked with different uh, surgeons and different physicians uh, with that kind of pain, and um, they, we went through a variety of different things, and some physical therapy. And I did um, a massage, deep tissue massage, did some chiropractic that was out there, and those were kind of temporary reliefs, but there was nothing that stayed with me for a, uh, a constant cure. After receiving his MRI and x-rays at the Benatti Spine Institute's Imaging Center, he consulted with Dr. Benatti. So he looked at the x-rays, and he told me exactly where the pain was and what was happening, probably how intense it was at different time periods, and he, he hit it right on the money. Unlike traditional back surgeries, which require months or even years of recovery time, Dr. Benatti's exclusive, patented, targeted precision procedures are performed one level at a time, just days apart. In June 2013, Bob had two procedures on C6 and 7. I had two procedures. Uh, one was on Wednesday and one was on Friday. So they were two days apart that were on them had two different parts of, uh, of surgery at those times. The Benatti Spine Institute employs conscious IV sedation during its procedure to ensure patients remain in communication with not only their surgeon, but the rest of the surgical staff so they can make sure their pain is alleviated. First time I heard about it, I was terrified. First of all, um, the IV portion was uh, to me, uh, but being conscious was not something that I thought I would ever do. So I was a little skeptical, and um, they gave me enough consultation on it that I was able to get through the first part of that. But it was uh, pretty amazing to me that when I was in the surgery, and I was conscious, and that at first I didn't want to look at the monitor. Um, but when I did, uh, it, it really, to me, seemed like it was a, a TV show. It really wasn't me, there was no pain. I was awake and it was it was interesting to me. It was not there was no pain and I was probably laughed a little bit in it too. Well, the difference between conscious IV sedation and general anesthesia is that we will uh, be able to give the patient a level of comfort using intravenous agents, but they will still be aware enough to tell us what they're feeling. There are points during the procedure where it's a little bit more intense for them as patients uh, because they may feel more uh, of their initial uh, pain levels, but the whole idea is to get them to pinpoint the exact location. Using that technique, we usually get it, and it's without question the best way. Bob's pain was relieved almost instantly. After the surgery and after the medication wore off, I started to be able to do some things that I hadn't been able to before, and I could, I did not have the pain that was in my shoulder and was running down my arm. So I got some relief on it fairly quick. Bob White is a, he's a friend and he's also a patient. He came to us with some problems associated with five, six, and six, seven areas affected, as you see there on the, on the MRI. And um, he's a golfer, and he was losing his skills. So we operated on him, and uh, 
the last time that I talked to him, he said that he got his uh, uh, motion back and his stroke back and, and he's uh, happy playing again. I was able to play in a golf tournament five weeks later. Actually, I think my swing speed has probably increased a little bit. I've been playing on, you know, a couple of times a week, maybe if I'm able to get out and do that. And it's just, it's been great. I haven't had any effects of it at all. The guys I was playing golf with, they were astounded on what happened and the speed it had because there's so many difficult stories on people who have back surgery and what happens to them afterward. And they were watching what I was able to do and I think they were pretty amazed. So um, I've, I've referred several people up to Dr. Benatti. For those considering back or neck procedures, the Benatti Spine Institute can offer research materials, connect you with former patients who will share their experience, and provide a one-on-one -on -one consultation with the surgeon before you commit to a procedure. Surgery was scary to me. And um, what I would say is read, um, find out um, uh, all of the things that are important to you related to that particular surgery. And I would, uh, I would say that the very best thing that can happen is to see Dr. Benatti because it's that kind of, that kind of uh, progress and healing and uh, what can come of it is um, pretty impressive. It's something when your body is not able to perform physically like you know that it should and then you're not able to do that. And then when somebody can help you to where you can recover and where you can do the things that you were able to do before, you just become thankful.